guys and welcome back to another video in the Curious Glasses. So in today's video it's going to be a tiny bit different because today I'm going to be unboxing. This is actually the first time I'm unboxing. I think the last time was a video. If you want to see that video click here. So I've been into a lot of drinks and smoothies. I'm actually drinking one right now. If you want to see how to make this drink click this video and my friend actually um, made a video on how to make these types of drinks. So you guys probably guessed by the title, but today we're going to be unboxing uh, We're going to be unboxing the Hamilton Beach Wave Crusher. So let's get this thing out of the actual box This blender is perfect to mix puree, dice, and also crush ice Without further ado, let's actually open it up, but I need a knife, so let me go get one Alright, so let's go ahead and cut this up Start right, and then put on here. Ooh. All right, so just gonna cut this side up right here. Let's see this. All right, let's open it. We got what is this? We've got some book. Let's go to the kitchen and actually open this up. This is the cap. This is the glass, which already has a blender. And right here, we have the actual base. And it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight buttons, which is pretty cool. So now that we've completely unboxed this, let's go and make something with it. What I love about this Hamilton Beach blender is that it has so many buttons for different, different smoothies or drinks. But for now, we're gonna make a smoothie to test this blender out. And it's gonna be one of my reliable recipes which I call the Berry Blend Blast. Let's just this smoothie option out, shall we? That has a lot of power. To make this smoothie, the first ingredient is gonna be a triple berry blend. We bought this from BJ's, and this is actually Wel Wellesley Farms, but obviously you can buy this from any other local grocery store. Next, we're gonna have put in some homemade yogurt. Obviously, you can use your store-bought store yogurt, if you are using your store-bought yogurt, I totally recommend to use Greek yogurt. And next, I'm going to pour in a little bit of maple syrup. I love to use maple syrup because it gives that robust amber flavor. Obviously, you can substitute this with your white sugar or brown sugar, or even your honey. We're also going to need some ice. And finally, to top it all off, we're going to be using some Greek lingon, which is nothing but Swedish lingonberry drink concentrate. This is completely optional, but I love it because it enhances the flavor of the smoothie overall. Let's put the ingredients into the blender. First, with our blend. Now, let's put in some ice. Now it's time to put in some of our homemade yogurt. So next, we're gonna put in some maple syrup. Just a little bit should be good enough. And remember to top it off a little bit of the Drik Lingon. Now, let's make this smoothie. Three, two, one. Our smoothie is ready, so let's go ahead and pour it in the cup. I love the system where you can just open this and you can pour it in. We have our smoothie ready, so now let's taste it. Oh, that is so good. This is the perfect smoothie you need for the summer. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.